Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about knapsack problem and solving that problem using backtracking. As you remember, uh, we solved the knapsack problem using dynamic programming. And, uh, and the, the approach was either including or not including uh, an item in the, uh, in the bag that we have. Now we have this uh, example with four items uh, with different uh, weights and the total weight that is equal to 16. So our items that we are going to take uh, mustn't be uh, more than 16. And the, the goal is to find uh, or to take the items as much as we can uh, with the highest values. Okay. So the approach for solving a, a knapsack problem using backtracking is First of all, we are sorting the uh, uh, like the rate uh, or the relation like the, the value uh, to the weight. Okay, so here, as you see, uh, the P1 uh, divided by W1 has equal to 20, and also the rest. So if you want to sort them, W1, uh, P1, P2, P3, and P4, the, like or items from one to four, are sorted based on the ratio of the. Uh, like the value to the weight okay so now next uh, we're going to talk about how we can use uh, solve this problem uh, using backtracking so similar to what we had so far uh, for solving the problem using backtracking we are going to also create a state space tree for this one it's a little bit uh, different uh, like uh, from others that we uh, solved so far okay let's see that how we can create a space tree for uh, backtracking uh, for an knapsack problem using the backtracking. Okay, so first of all, the back is empty. Okay, so the root of our tree will be an empty. Okay, so it's gonna be the node, the root is gonna be empty here. So uh, as we said, we order, uh, we sort the items that we have uh, based on the ratio of uh, uh, value to the weight. So here we have the uh, like item number one, then number two, then uh, number three and number or the last one so let's say that we are gonna choose the first item okay so either I'm choosing uh, the first item okay the first item I'm gonna choose that so so far my total uh, value that I can take will be equal to 40 and the weight gonna be 2 so I'm gonna write it this way 40 and also 2 here okay and now let's, uh, I have no item number one, and now let's go and choose also item number two. Okay, so if I go here and choose item two, then uh, the total uh, value that I can gain is equal to 70, and the total weight gonna be equal to seven, okay. Now, what if I also uh, gonna like choose the item number three? So I have number item number one, number two, and here I am choosing number three. So if I choose number three, my total uh, value will gonna be 120, but my weight gonna be 10 plus five plus two, uh, two gonna be 17, okay? So that's 17. And my total weight that I can take is equal to 16. So here it means that I, uh, number three in this case is a non-promising node. Okay, so this node is a non-promising. So it means that we cannot go further and we need to backtrack to where we have been before. Okay, so we backtrack to that one. And uh, so here, uh, let's assume that we are not picking item three. Okay, so item three, and I have something that not picked. Okay, so we are not picking number three. And let's say now we are gonna pick number, uh, item number four. So if I go up here and uh, item number four, total weight, uh, total value gonna be 18, uh, 80, sorry, and uh, my total weight gonna be 12. So it can be some solution, okay? So it can be some solution. Here, uh, we had, uh, uh, I think I did a mistake here. So let's fix this one. And this is where after two, I'm going and not picking number three. So this uh, three is the child of 
this node here. Okay, so when I pick in two. So one other thing is that I have uh, picked one and here I have picked two, but let's say I'm not picking uh, item two. So here, when I am not picking number two. So here I can say that item number one is picked at a, now here I'm picking number three. So together, uh, the weight gonna be 12 and the total uh, number of value that I can gain is equal to 90. Okay, so it's gonna be 90 and this is gonna be equal to 12, okay? Or let's say that also I'm not picking number three, okay? So if I'm not picking here, then I have two options of, I only have one uh, or I can have item four or not having item four, okay? So item four. If I have item four here, uh, I have 40, uh, value here and two weight here uh, so it's going to together will be 50 and the total weight going to be 7 okay that's uh, when I pick number item number one not picking number two uh, item number two not picking number item number three and picking number four if I not pick um, do not pick the, uh, none of the items rather than one totally I will have 40 and two here okay also here in this case uh, where we uh, like for example we chose the item uh, like uh, we haven't chose number three so here I can go and also have the not picking also number four okay so I have item number one and also number two not picking number three and not picking number four okay as you see uh, in every node, okay, for the like based on the uh, ratio of the uh, value to the weight, I can either pick or not pick the item that I have. So here at first was when I'm picking one, but what if I'm not picking one? So here, there's gonna be another part of the tree that's I'm not picking one. So the, my weight is uh, like the total value that I picked up so far is zero. And let's say I'm gonna pick number two and not picking number two here and we can continue on others okay so for number three here picking not picking okay so in here three three not picking and here i have four four and for everyone i have four and four okay so at the end i can uh, see that which uh, like which combination has the has the most um, the most uh, values okay now uh, I draw all the uh, state space tree of this problem okay uh, so at the first uh, level uh, we have the empty bag then including or not including uh, um, item one then on the second level including or not including item two number three on the uh, third one and also the number four and now we're going to see that what's the total number of nodes in this state space tree. So we have the first node that only have one, so that is two equal to the power zero. Uh, the second level we have two, that is equal to two to the power one. Third level is equal to two to the power two, to the, uh, two to the power three, and two to the power four. That four is the number of items that we have. So together, uh, the number of nodes, okay, it's going to be the result of uh, this summation that is uh, the sigma of i equal to 0 to n of 2 to the power i that is equal to 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 so that's the total number of uh, nodes that we're going to have in uh, uh, creating the state space tree for knapsack problem using the backtracking okay now let's uh, take a look at the knapsack uh, algorithm uh, uh, like using the backtracking approach okay at first uh, the current items that we have it's uh, uh, like everything is empty or zero uh, like for example our items that we have or the values that we gain or the number uh, the, uh, the total weights that our items uh, well, we have for that and also the best so we are calling the knapsack problem you like the empty one so there is no item so far is used okay everything is empty so after then uh, we are checking if 
uh, the node that we are uh, going like to add, the item we're going to add is promising, then we are adding that item, okay, to this information, like to the current weight, to the current items, and to this current value. So then we are calling the knapsack problem with the next item, i plus one, okay, and uh, with the all the information that we got so far, okay, because we already updated the current best and also the weight and behavior that we have. Uh, for this and the other one is as also uh, if you remember in the tree is not including the next item okay so either including here okay so either including that or not including the next item okay so not including the next item and calling that knapsack problem okay without including that item and in the promising uh, function so uh, you are checking the weight if the weight is uh, greater than the like the total weight that you uh, is a limitation okay so then you are turning false and also uh, you are checking again with the all values that we ha you have uh, before to check that is everything fine so you can uh, like uh, with the uh, new va new values or new weights uh, your total weight gonna be less than this double that you have here so that's uh, so that's the knapsack uh, algorithm is really uh, similar to what we have uh, for um, like other problems but the only difference is uh, here we have either including or not including the items okay so both uh, uh, like the call functions are here so instead of like having only one we have two functions for other problems we have for all items that we have for example the uh, uh, n queen problem we had uh, like for all the uh, all columns that we are calling now we are calling for two cases either including or not including